We have some hippies out there. Hippies out there. Hippies out there. Oh, yeah, now. Can't touch it. Uh, uh. Hey, hippie life. Hey, hey, hey. Marijuana. Hey, evaluations. Hey, OMG. Hey, text fat dabs. Hey, we in the cup. Hey. Send it to the club. 29. We would be great fucking hype, man. No, 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 you got it, you got it. <laughs> oh, you got it, but you got it. You got it. Oh, my yes, fucking sir. God, what is good, everybody? Let me tell you, let me tell you. We are at the 710 Cup 2019. I'm your boy, Young Hippie, from the Hippie Life Podcast. And let me say, man, we getting high, we getting fly. And it's so much good shit in here, I cannot lie. Yes, sir. To my left, man, we a little, we got a little new gang in here. You feel me? He ain't new to the show, but yeah, y'all already know. My boy, Richard, a.k.a. OMG, he takes fat dabs. What's good, boy? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. You already know, man. Actually, thank you, because we honestly, we wouldn't be in this seat if it wasn't for you. I'll just say that on air right now. So thank you, my man. We appreciate you. Everything you do. You already know, my guy. And my man with the camera. What's up, K Boogie Boog? What up, guys? Fucking here. Today's going to be a fucking great show. Great day. If you guys, well, when you're hearing this on Tuesday, if you guys weren't here, you missed out and you better pay attention next year. Pay attention, baby, because, ha, <laughs> ha, you know what I'm saying? Big changes. So, man, like I said, it's 710. We got so many fucking dope-ass fire brands in here. I see Funky Skunk. I see High Grade. I see Vaping. You know what I'm saying? I've seen Drip. I've seen Nectar Farms. Man, so that's gross just science, gross science, bro. Yeah. Sunday Goods in the building. You know what I'm saying? My boys from Valley of the Sun hit us with some fire. So, you know, we got that in the building. But, bro, oh, my God. First and foremost, thank you. Again, Richard, thank you. I, I'm going to keep saying it throughout the show because I'm so grateful right now. and My mind is blown. But... Um, we'll start the show off like we usually do, man. We'll go through our week, uh, talk about how it's been. You know, I ain't been in town for a, lo- a long ass time. Yep, yep, so, yep. I mean, I guess I'll start. I, it's only appropriate. Yeah. Uh, I've been in California for about almost two weeks now. Uh, I just got back Thursday, l- left on the 30th. We went and celebrated my son's birthday. Uh, he just turned the big five this year. Shout out to my little guy, man. Uh, so, you know, we did a week in fucking Oceanside. We did a week, like, four or five days in Anaheim. And it was just, it was a great time, dude. You know, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, the beginning of the trip didn't start as I wanted it to. You know, I, I was I was hit with, like, some real-ass shit, bro. Like, it had me, like, I'll be truthful. I was, I was really questioning my sobriety and was really about to take, like, just really throw everything that I've worked on away. But I really had to step outside my realm. Yep. And take time to find myself that I, you know, find the guy I was losing. And, uh, you know, I was, I stayed communicating with the boys as much as I could with what I was going through. But at the end of the day, you know, I got through it. I'm still here. I'm still sober. And dude, life's good, bro. You know, I put that shit behind me and I got nothing to complain about. Amen. Uh, dude, that shit was hard to be like sitting here in Phoenix with you in California, like bugging and not being able to like grab you and be like, dude, it's going to be cool. Yeah, Let's bro. Let's figure this shit out together. Mm. But, but I'm, you know I'm what? Proud That's that you did it on your own and figured it out. And at the end of the day, with things like that, you have to figure it out on your own. Your your boys can only help you so much. Yeah. But you've got to be able to figure it out and process and, it. And that's what that's one thing I realize is like you guys aren't gonna be with me all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not gonna always have somebody that to, to tell me it's okay. So like I'm gonna have to be able to tell myself that it's okay and I'm gonna have to be able to believe that. So you know, with that being said, shit's still kicking. Uh can't lie. Ran into Kourtney Kardashian at fucking <laughs> Disneyland, California <laughs> Adventures. That shit was crazy. Like, bro. There was, there was definitely a little yay in the background. Yeah, yeah. Which one all was. of, all, yeah, yeah. There was, uh, Northwest was there. Uh, all of the fucking, all, basically all the kids besides like the newest, like, Saint and. Was Baby Saint there? Nah, he wasn't there. But it was so crazy because like, we were, we were getting ready to, or we were coming off the ride and she was getting on the ride. So we were like, taking our strollers that she was parking and like i see some chinese chick and i thought she was the famous chick 
And then I see some big ass black dude, and I thought he was like a football player. So I'm like, oh hell yeah, like, yo, we just met a football player. And then my chick's like, nah, that's a Kardashian. And then the fucking the bodyguards like, yeah. yeah the, bo- the bodyguards like, yeah, it's Courtney. And then I, I just started chopping it up with the bodyguard, told him about hippie life and shit. You know what I'm saying? And then I was like, can I get a picture? And he was like, no, nah, you can't take a picture with her. I'm like, fuck her, bro. I'm trying to take a picture with you, dog. Like, the people will never believe that I fucking saw Courtney Kardashian if I don't have proof. So then, like, long story short, after we chopped it up, he let me take a picture of her from the distance. He was like, I didn't see shit. So long story short, you know, I got the picture of her. I got the video of her. And, yeah, it was it was dope, man. The trip was dope. What happens when you're nice to people? You know what I'm saying? Like, and you're not a fucking fangirl. Don't act like a fangirl. Just be regular. Like, I just had a regular conversation with the dude. Mainly just told him about my brand, you know. Just told him about hippie life. I was hustling. Hell yeah, you feel me? You see me, I had a hat and the shirt on and the fucking jogger. So, it was loaded. But that was my that was my shit, man. I'm going to say happy birthday to my son on the show. Uh, yes. He makes me so proud, man. The big five and starting kindergarten. I just can't wait, bro. Everything is great right now. So, that was my week, Richard. Uh, you've been fucking busy. I've been trying to talk to you. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, we'll have to talk later. I ain't tripping because look what you did. This is amazing, man. How was your week, bro? Dude, my week was definitely stacked. Uh, my main partner was out of town. Um, so I kind of set up the whole event and run one of my the Phoenix office at the same time. Okay. So I was out there doing that every day, but as you can see, we got fucking syrup cups from fucking True Infusion that's right there. Yep. They're 15 milligrams uh, every shot. We got medicated ice cream that comes from medicated chef. We got cheesecake from medicated chef. We got really <laughs> fine chicks out here just so they can pass out those cups. Popsicles. We got 1,200 popsicles. All the shit I go shopping for. We got bong ribs. Fucking, yeah, tons of bongs that we're giving away because I went to tons of different smoke shops this week and got them to throw down, got t-shirts, fucking... Just was busy, bro. A lot of Everywhere. A lot driving, of driving, 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 connecting. Met up with the dude to get the vendor passes. Met up and just everything that you see. The photo well booth deserved. guys got the fucking photo booth over here. This is fucking, well deserved, bro. I try, man. You did a great job, man. From what I can see so far. Yeah. I tried really I'm, hard, man. I'm fucking glad to see Weedley in here. Because I hit you, Weedley bro. up and I was like, Richard. Yes. Bro, we got to squeeze them in. And this would be yep. lit. And this is it. Like, we got the yeah. perfect fucking package. We got everything you could ask yep. for. And really, it's because of this man to my left. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Richard is the fucking man. Uh, if you need your med card, make sure you hit Richard up at Marijuana Evaluations. He, They have the best price in town. And you could go catch a show while you wait. You know, the Hippie Life podcast is up yeah. in all the waiting rooms. They yep. just opened a shop in G-Town, Yay! my home city. Right by my motherfucking, right now? by my own stomping ground. So that one hits home yep. for me, baby. Yeah, so. The doors there? Oh, yeah. Dope. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all hear them? They out here pushing Kool-Aid. Yeah, it's it's popping. We got grow science. What's up? How you doing? Yeah. Man, it's good, man. Yeah. It's good in here. Yep, doing really good. Okay, Boogie Book, man. How was your week, player? I actually had a busy week, but, like, it was chill at the same time. I... Fuck, man. I went to a show last night and watched some a Grateful Dead cover band. I found out that I might be a uh, house photographer every once in a while over at the Marquee Theater. Hey. So I'm working on that. That's dope. Um, I'm shooting a show there next week on the 18th. Um, I'm shooting my buddy's band, Nito Andy, who was on the show last week. Yep. You met him. Yep, yep. Um, so he had kind of plugged me with the guy that that runs the photography gig over at uh, Marquee, and I'm going to try to start doing that on the side and, you know, see what else happens. Yeah, dude. Um, other than that, just getting ready for this and just making sure we were ready to go and having a good time today. Yeah, dude. So, oh, yeah. yeah, that's, you know, just another week, bro. Man, well, <laughs> dog, just... Oh, and I also found out I will be having some of my artwork shown at First Friday, October the 4th, so it's a little ways out, and I don't know all the details yet, but working that out. That's the other thing I found out this week. So yeah, that was my week, bro. Oh, yeah. Well, (coughs) excuse me. (coughs) 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 (coughs)
Well, man, uh, I, I got to say, dude, I'm, I'm so proud of everything that's happening, like, not inside of Hippie Life, but outside. Jones working on a huge project. Um, his album getting ready to release, man, like, on the 26th of this month. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, that's next week, Zone. right? 26th of July. Okay. Yep. It's called Zone, man. It's going to be available on all platforms. So make sure you check that out. Uh, shout out to Jones, man. He's over there taking care of the little ones, so he couldn't be here today. But, hey, Daddy Duty calls. Um, I do want to talk to you guys real quick before we actually get into the show show. Um, just about uh, the new law that just passed in Hawaii, man. Another state, you know what I'm saying? Seeing the benefits of the marijuana and just fucking decriminalizing the plant on its own. Uh, we just read that it's a small step, but it's the 26th state, and you could only fucking uh, carry up to three grams. It's um, not a lot, yeah, but it, still, it's still it's still something. It, like you, you're not going to jail over a joint anymore. Yeah, and to yeah, me, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that's where it's like, I mean, that's three grams progress. isn't even an eighth, Dude. but it's still progress. It's still saying no. You know it's not legal, but here's your fine. I think the fine's like 130 dollars, and like slap on the wrist and keep moving. Yeah. Well, it, it, like pretty the, soon everybody will get it right. It, eventually, my fear is though, and I keep I keep telling you guys this, man. Like just being in California, like the state that's known for the 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 good prices for the you know the good weed for the good prices. That fucking legalization the rec like recordization of that shit has inflated the prices like tremendously and I, I the only reason why i say it is because i've seen it in cali and i've seen it in nevada yeah. so it's not like i'm just making this shit up like i'm a i'm a consumer and when i go to the dispensary i'm not buying an eighth i'm going and getting at least an ounce yeah. you feel me at least and i was able to get like premium weed <laughs> ounces for like 150 bucks in california they're now selling them for like two to three hundred dollars you know what i'm saying and it's like what the fuck guys like you guys are known to have the shit for the low you feel me like that's california you and for you to be sixty dollars an eighth fifty twenty dollars a fucking gram like come on bro okay before uh the wheel's not active yet The, the wheel's not active uh we just need like 30 minutes until after the show, and then the real party starts. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have free bong ribs, everything good, on man. there. So I'll, we I'll apologize. I got it. We, I'll yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Th- we we apologize. Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Thirty minutes. We gotta yeah. just take it down. My God. Hey, brother. Could you could down. you pull that wheel down for us yeah. real quick? <laughs> Technical break. Technical <laughs> break. <laughs> just move. Yeah, just it take it off the yeah. table real fast. Yeah. Well, it will be. It'll be back up. So we in too many people. In we promise. It's, do, it's doing its job yeah. just too it's fucking so soon. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone instantly like ten people. Like, Let me spin this. Like yes, I want to do this. This is it. So yeah, yeah. very yeah. soon. Oh yeah. Well, hey, hey. We'll let y'all know we got shit for y'all. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, fucking. Uh, but yeah, the whole yeah. The legalization of it, I just feel like get your med card, dude. Get your med card because the tax, even the tax is like 30%, dude. 30%. And they don't take out of state medical cards. You know what I'm saying? They'll take it in Nevada, but still, like $50 an eighth. You can suck my dick or die, bro. I'm, I'm sponsored by the dispensary, dude. Yeah. Ah, you feel me? So. Yeah. Uh, Richard, man, this this is about you today, bro. This is your... I know it's 710, but, you know, this is your day because you deserve it. And we want to know, man, like, about you, man. Like, tell us about you. Tell us how you got started in, in this industry. Well, I uh, started a long time ago, I guess. I've always been in business management, business development. I've always had uh, telemarketing businesses that I've had. And that's how I met up with Savoy. Um... He wanted to get into business, so we kind of connected. And then he did his own little thing. I did my own little thing. And he hit me up a little while later because he was having some real bad troubles with where he was working. And he was like, bro, they're waxing 350 for people. Cards are going 325. Like, we need to do this even better. Like, we need to make this better. And I was like, what do you want to do? He's like, I want to do this, but I want to do it at 250. And that way we can keep that shit. So I was in advertising and marketing 
business development's been my thing. So I said, hey man, you find the location and I'll get the fucking people, no problem. So like, what I did is he got the location and I was working at Yelp at the time. Okay. So what I did is I hit up Craigslist and it was when they allowed a lot of medical cannabis stuff to be posted. Mm-hmm. And I fucking nailed that shit. I opened like six or seven different accounts. Okay. All different URLs, emails. And I started posting on shit, all different bodies of the text. But to where you could not go six or seven pages without seeing me and my fucking face on that shit. There you go. So I started getting hate after a minute, bro. People started getting real mad. Thank you guys. Uh, people started getting real mad at us. Uh, we just got dropped off some stuff over here. Shout out to Co. Right Shout out to the Cannabis Co. Man, they just dropped us off some fucking grams and some- mad love. Hit us up, man. Come on to the show, bro. Hit me yeah. yeah. right now. Hit me live. Check it out. Give a shout out. Yeah. We're recording right now. Go ahead, bro. Yes. Quick Thank shout God. out. What up, y'all? It's Mitch from Mojave Cannabis. We're here at the Earl Cup representing. These guys are crushing it right here. Come check them out. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> shout out to Mitch. Hey, thanks, brother. We appreciate yeah. you, dude. That, love is that crazy. right there, that's why I do this shit. Because, like, my favorite thing is connecting with people. The love and, is like, crazy. I love it. I love to see that shit. And when he started doing that shit and I started getting the people in, people were loving it. And a year later, he could afford me on a fucking weekly basis. So I started doing that shit. And now all I do is marketing, promotion, advertising, do videos. That's how we linked up. Because I heard through the grapevines that you guys were advertising for us. And I was like, damn, well, we need to give them love. And that's where we're at now. And, and since then, bro, dude, we're going to keep growing. It's been that phenomenal. Love forever, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's about to get crazy, bro. Like, this is just, like, the beginning, bro. Like, this, is, like we literally just started. We, well, we met you, like, what, three weeks ago, four weeks yeah. ago? And it's right already, like, like, family? <laughs> cup, here we go. You know it's already so, family. <laughs> I'm all about trying to make people happy. And I'm all about trying to fucking make good people around us and... Dude, you guys are great people, and uh, there's no there's no reason I wouldn't have you guys around. So, you guys are dope. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Is there any like anything you want to say to like your people, man? The people that your customers, your your. Oh. Yes, man. We're moving. I'm sorry. <clears throat> rearrange, rearrange. Rearrange. Hey, I'll get break. up and move that shit real quick. Yeah, we'll take Just a quick break. No, let's take a quick commercial break. Oh, take a quick break while we rearrange. We'll be, we'll be right back. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll come back with what Richie loves to say to his customers. There you Patience. go. Patience. Patience. He's lovely. He's lovely, 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 lovely. Or you stir it, boy, it make no difference. And I ain't James Bond, but I gotta get it. Simply with the crown, and you know that's how a nigga mix it. Man, this crown got me tizzy. Man, this crown got me swerved. Shot my dog for the brown. Need a crown for the first now. Hey, Stephanie, could you get us a water? Actually, a couple. You're the shit, girl. <laughs> Yo, we are back here at the 710 Cup, man. This is the Hippie Chronicles episode, what, 37? Episode 37, I forgot to tell you. It don't even matter. We'll say it's the special 710 edition. They don't even need a number because it's 710. This is episode 710. <laughs> oh, 
goes. Kyle's like, dude, nah. Uh, stop, stop saying episode numbers because you fuck it up every time, bro. We every are just time. back. This is the episode was 36. He's like, episode 37. <laughs> All up on that shit. Maybe nah. you should put that on the outline. Uh, put it. that on the outline. Episode, episode number. Beep. I'm going to have this. I would fucking know at least, right? Or just voice edit it be like, this is episode 36. Oh. <laughs> like some shit, corny as fuck. 36. Yeah. He's like a robot voice. Bow, 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 bow. 37. I think it's an alien voice. <laughs> That's funny, dude. I'm dead. Man, we got my guy Richard, a.k.a. OMG. He takes fat dabs. Uh, he was just about to say uh, a special message to all his patients and people that, you know, he deals with on a daily basis. Go ahead, my guy. Well, the first thing I want to say is thank you so much for coming in and expressing how much you really appreciate our service because it really helps me when you guys come in and say, Yo, I came in last year, you guys had some great service, so I want to say thank you guys, but not only that, is without you guys, there's definitely no us. Like, we grew a lot within these last three months because you guys keep going out of your way to tell all your friends about it and tell all your friends about us, so I really appreciate you guys from the deepest part of myself because without you guys, my kids wouldn't have any food on the table, so that's definitely a huge blessing, so, you know, everybody that's shouted us out and, you know, told their moms or brothers or even... You know, came over to just come themselves. You know what I mean? Like, I just fucking thank you guys, you know? And I really appreciate you guys. I really hope to see you guys year after year because we are improving to make our experience even better for you. That's what's up, man. And and it is, your shops are very, like, family-oriented, bro. When you go in there, it's, it's cozy. You got cold-ass water because we know we're in Arizona, so it's hot as shit. You know what I'm saying? You got the TV playing with not just the Hippie Life podcast, but with a lot of educational information you know what i'm saying so yeah yeah. just basically it's a whole lot of good in there you know you're not just there to collect money you're there to to educate and show the people like what's to come after this like the evaluation center is literally just a sneak peek of the marijuana industry like it's the first stop so the way your evaluation center presents itself could either be like, okay, man, the industry sucks dick, and it's like, oh, my God, they just want my money, or, oh, yeah, dog, like, the industry is fucking tight. You know what I'm saying? They make you feel like you're at home. So we're going to let these niggas do their raffle real quick because Medicated Chef is going ham. Yeah, he's going ham, dog, yeah. Two minutes. Yeah. Two minutes. Two? We got two minutes to wrap this shit up. start questions? Let's start questions. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, we got questions yeah, for Richard. Oh, Richard, you and, I, and I, was, I wish I had said a hand on my fucking uh, You know what I'm saying? Well, Richard, you ain't new to this, my man. You you partook last week, so uh, yep. we got some questions for you, and these ones are for you, so you actually get to take time to think about it and answer them at your own pace. The first one is... Have you ever had no a? <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, Andy. Sorry about that. That vape pen was so. Yeah. <laughs> I got, I got prematurely. I, I do a lot of that. <laughs> oh shit! Have you ever had a supernatural experience? Uh, I would have to say yes. So I can answer this on multiple wavelengths, but I'm going to say yes on one. So. When I was younger, I was raised in a native family, so I, I'm Creek, Pawnee, Potawatomi, and Kikapoo. So it's, it's four different nations that my mom has in her system. So when I was younger, she told me that there was uh, ghosts and shit, right? There were ghosts. And so I went to go stay the night at my uncle's house. And I was sitting there on the couch, and I was laying there. And I heard the AC button. It clicked. Like, it was one of those that you had to actually click it to hear a sound. And so I heard it click, and then I heard it click again, and it paused, and then I heard it click, and then the fucking AC turned on. And I was like, oh, shit. I was like, okay. I was like, no, 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 no. And then, I swear to the Lord I believe in, I heard footsteps. Like, foot, foot, boots, foot, footsteps in the fucking kitchen. And my mom, she told me, before, if you ever encounter these beings, like, just talk to them. Like, thank you so much. Just talk to them like they're normal people. So I was thinking about that, and I was like, hey, could you please take off your shoes? I'm trying to go to sleep. Uh, yeah. And I swear, bro, it stopped. 
it completely stops. So I talked to my uncle about that when he woke up, and he was like, oh, yeah, that's Henry. Like, no, I do. I have a ghost, and his name is Henry. That's crazy. Oh, like, I just got yo, the chills. That's what's up. I just got the chills, bro. That's crazy. That's real talk. I Where's where? You got another one of those little joints? I do. Are you here? Yep, there you Fire go. that up. Question number two, man. What superpower would you like to have? I need to hear this, because... I bet you we had to take some this. water for this <laughs> shit. Let me hydrate to Let get me into this. For this answer, because it's gonna take everything in me. One question for you: Is this superpower created from a fictional character already, or can I create the boundaries of the superpower? You're it's whatever. You go wild with it, go, bro. Bro, it's okay. it's seven ten. So, if I had the ability. I'm going to go ahead and use my favorite throwback is I would be like the Flash yeah. because that fool could go back in time. He could, in the comic books, he could actually jump to fucking different planets because he goes so fast. He goes, boom, and he's like at another fucking planet. So, like, that shit that I would fucking love, vibrating through fucking shit and fucking, you know what I mean? Speed has always been on my fucking brain. So if I ever had a superpower, because dude, I would be like, this event would have been done easily. <laughs> I'm like, boom, oh, you boom, need boom, this? Boom. Yeah, I'll be over there really quick. Boom. But hey, let me get this shit. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the. Okay, boom, boom. Like, all right, bye. Like, ha, I'll be right there in two seconds. Boom. Like, you know what I mean? Like, not even a question. Super speed. You still and on the phone and shit? Wow, well, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But the only thing is that if I had to twist my own boundaries, is I would be able to go back in the past. And do stuff without causing my current reality yeah. uh, an issue. Yeah, having that fucking alternate timeline. Yeah, right skip down. up, like, that's what I would, yeah, so, but that comes with the territory, and so I would gladly have the power knowing that that was still an issue. For sure. I'll tell you what, Paper Jim Small Shop. That's what's up, man. Um, this one is really, this one is in your, your ball field right here. What is the fattest dab you've ever taken? Personally by myself? Yes. The fattest dab that I took was, and you can see this on Instagram. Okay. Um, it was 1.2. Okay. Um, so nothing crazy. Yeah. But it was that night I was outside with the, the family, and I had put the dab on, and it, and it elongated this long into a frozen dab because it was winter outside. So... By the time I dabbed that shit, it was pretty bomb. Um, that's probably the finest one that I've Sounds smooth, too, being yeah, fucking cold. Really yeah. yeah, it was really good. Oh, dude, that was... It tasted like I wasn't doing anything. It wasn't... It was like I wasn't doing anything. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm right behind you with the. I just did a gram, so I'm like, I'm right behind you. Mine I don't even think like, I've even attempted to do like a half gram before in my yeah, life. Like, yeah. I don't fuck with that shit like that. I was suckered into the gram, but, but whatever. I, I wrote that question especially for you because I was curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's I up. Mean, I've attempted, like, with groups, uh -huh. I've smoked 2.7s. I've, like, with two or three people, right. like, all of us collectively. And I've smoked a majority of that. Right. But. By myself, like just rap, you know what I mean? Just right. on the own without like phasing and everything, completing it all and smoking it all. Because that's important. Like I've seen right. a lot of videos that they're like, oh, it's supposed to gram dab. He put like, a gram on there, but... It. Like, yeah, like, oh. <laughs> but like successfully completed was like 1.2. Weighed out. I'm, I'm sure I might have taken larger, <laughs> but that's what I weighed out. You yeah. knew that that's what it was. Yeah, or... yeah, yeah. I mean, because I take actually, I actually. There's actually, actually now that I believe on my Instagram, there is a two point something jab that I haven't, I did take by myself. We're gonna um, find it. I don't know yet. I'll, We're gonna find it and repost it. I stuffed I'll it. find it. Yeah, I stuffed it with wax and I loaded it. I put another thing on it. I put fucking shit on. It. Yeah, a distillate. Yeah, dude, I killed it. So yeah, it was a yeah. So, yeah. We'll God damn, dude. He does fucking dab. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. What are your favorite munchies? After a fat dab, what do you got to go in like, man, I need to eat this right now. I need to snack. So, honestly, it sounds crazy, but when I dab and stuff and smoke, I don't really go after munchies. Yeah. It's that. definitely a work, work motivator. I feel like. um, but um, what is I would have to say what I love to munch on. If you look in my, my cabinet right now, I have a 
big fat bag of Reese's peanut butter and the little. Yeah, there you go. Those are the, those are my fucking. I love those fucking things, dude. Those are so good. I can throw like four or five or six of them in my mouth, eat them, or churritos. If you can get churritos from Mexico, I would eat them any fucking time, anywhere. Churritos, Mexican, El Amor, lemon, salt. That's my all-time favorite snack anywhere, any place. But you can't get that here in Arizona. Yep. What's up, guys? Oh, man. Yeah. All right. I'm a, when I'm done, so we're pull the bar. This out. one, and I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> yeah, ask go it. Go ahead, yeah. All right. I and got this you. one I know you're ready for. All I right. know you're ready for. All right, all right. And I'm not even going to I'm not even going to phrase it how we used to as do you believe in aliens because oh, yeah. everybody fucking believes in aliens. Yeah, you're yeah, a fucking yeah, idiot yeah, yeah. if you don't. <laughs> no. So, what are your thoughts on aliens? Okay, okay. Okay. There you go. So, my thoughts for sure collectively with my wife, who was in the army, okay. and went on the Cipernet, okay, from her experiences collectively with my brain power, <laughs> I believe that we are implanted here by aliens. I believe the human race was set here by aliens a long time ago to do their mining, to use their material, whatever the case is, because... There's so many UFO spottings nowadays. People come in and out. Government hides so many things that I guarantee... There's people right now that I tell, like, oh, there's aliens have been here, <laughs> and they get mad. And they're like, no, that's not true. So, the alien government has said no. Or the moon, that we've been to the moon. Don't even want to get there. <laughs> that's fucking crazy shit. I'm you know? too high for this, because so, nah, I'm stuck like... Yeah, bro, you're right. You're right. It's true. I'm thinking about it. So, like, so like big picture, big picture. We're all slaves without even fucking bro. knowing it. Yep. Dude, look at we are a virus. Okay, the definition of a virus is a cell that attaches to something, uses its materials, disposes waste, and moves on to the next fucking thing. What are we looking at? Mars? The moon? <laughs> What do we do? We eat shit, fucking bother people, we populate, we reproduce, blow shit up, we blow shit up, <laughs> we're destructive, we are a fucking virus. Oh. And I guarantee you that, and there has been, there were some things I read a long time ago that people were like, our DNA was like, not genetically uh, engineered over the thousands of years that they say, it had to have been billions and billions of years. And so I was like, well that makes sense because... There's no fucking half monkeys, half humans running around here right now. <laughs> like, oh, I'm a half monkey and shit. You know what I mean? Like, there we're all fucking humans. Like, we had to have been something. And all the pyramids and shit. Like, that shit's uncoincidental. Like, all the fucking Easter Island bullshit. Like, dude, there is so many things that have expressed aliens being here and being dominant that we are just a minuscule fucking ant to them. And we do whatever they want. And our government has a tight-ass motherfucking feeling with them. They're like, yo, we do whatever you want, fucking... Oh, you want this shit? Just don't down? blow up. Uh, that cell phone, blow them up. <laughs> bro, that cell phone is alien fucking technology, bro. Like, come on. Well, like, thank you, dude, thank I'm you, saying, ET. Like, dude, I'm saying it, bro. I'm like, making, I'm making like, million dollar moves on this phone, yeah, ET. Yo, <laughs> all this shit, man. Like, all this shit had to have come from somewhere. And like, humans are smart. Like, get, don't get me wrong, but like, dude, our ideas. You know, like, I mean, like, all of our shit. It, it doesn't just happen over. A few hundred thousand years or whatever. It, it's millions of fucking years. And I Ooh. love thinking about religion and the Bible, but even that story it's fits so what I'm story. thinking. Well, it's a book. Right. It's, it's a story. No one can really, no one can really tell you what's going on. Nothing yet. No one can really tell you. Oh, go on this booth right here. We're all hooked up. Cheesecakes and everything for you guys. Um, so. With that being said, the Bible is a story. It's a story that no one really knows. And I truly believe in that story. But even for that, I believe that somebody, like, because I don't think, like, if you go back to the Big Bang Theory, they're like, oh, negative energy, uh, blah, we're existing. And it's like, no, 
I think there was some dude in the lab that was just like us doing his fucking thing, and he's like, oh, look at these chemicals. They're doing a bunch of badass things. Let's put this up here. And next thing you know, for us, it's like billions and billions of years, and for him, it's maybe like a couple years, and we're just sitting in his basement fucking growing in this box, and we don't know what the fuck, because our shit is endless. And he keeps looking at it every once in a while. He's like, yeah, man, I made that, like, there he is, guys. That's pretty cool, huh? Like, and he doesn't even know what the fuck is going on or some shit, because... We have our cells and our bodies that are so minuscule that we can't fathom or comprehend or even fucking look at. Dude, you could not even... Uh, I have such a deep brain that I could go hours and hours talking about anything on, on this kind of topic about where we came from and what we are, why we're here. All right. that shit. So I'm going to take right now to put it out there. We are looking for people that have had alien encounters, experiences, whatever, get at us. We want to interview you on the show. Let's do it. Yep. So, it's going to get hella strange in the bakery. That. With that being said, man, can we do shout out so Richard, we can party? Yep. Richard, I yep. definitely want to thank you for coming through, bro. We're going to shout some, some people out, and we're going to get the fuck on out so we can party. Yo, let me... It's getting louder. Go ahead, man. Who you want to shout out, Rich? So the first thing is I got to shout out my girl. Because I work all the fucking time. And she never fucking sees me. So my biggest shout out and everything goes to my wife. Because she is always there to support me when I'm not at home. When I'm at home working on the fucking computer. When I'm in my phone. When I'm away from her. She always fucking is there to support me. So no matter what, like above everyone in the fucking world. I can always look to her to support me in what I'm fucking doing. Oh, yeah. So that's the first one. My homie, my partner, Josh, like fucking give me the opportunity to blow up the way I do and and show myself and do what I want to do. You know, that, that's another dude right there I can and say anything about. One dude that I fucking lost track with, and I don't think I should give you a shout out, but you know what? John, I'm going to give you a shout out because even though you dropped me like a fucking fly, you taught me everything I fucking know, and I have to thank you for that, because without you, I wouldn't be fucking in this spot with my knowledge, with everything that I know for the last 10 years, you filled me with everything that I know, so I have to say thank you too. Shout out to you, John. Yes. <laughs> You're lucky, buddy. Yeah, dude, all my patients and shit, you know, all those people, dude, I appreciate every single person, um, everybody that's in my life that's shown me love, you know, everyone that's shown me hate, everyone that's... You know, put me on my path because I just would not be here in this spot without you guys, with every single person making the moves that they made. So I thank that's everybody awesome. that's ever been in my life. That's lovely, bro. That was lovely. Dude, I saw that text message just come in on your phone, and it said beautiful wife. So that's <laughs> what he's got her in his phone as. So that's real. And she my asked, nigga. And she asked, you won't be back to the house until later, right? Because she knows... It's a long day. Motherfucker, <laughs> and I can't wait, baby, to spend the next few days with you, baby. I really can't. Ah, so, my nigga. Yeah. You got a great man, girl. I don't know your name, but you got a great man. Ashley. Ashley, shout Ashley out. Ashley Romero. Shout out to Ashley from the Hippie Gang, man, for real, for real. Shout out. We appreciate you uh, sharing your time with uh, with us and whoever else he got, hangs out with. But we promise you, he's doing great things for people, and you got, you you definitely got a great dude to be proud of. Like that's for fa like he's putting he's putting on for AZ. Let's put it that way. So uh, I got it. Um, go ahead, Cable. All right. Um, I guess I want to do shout out. First of all, I do want to shout out my wife as well. Last night. She went to a Grateful Dead cover band show with me and my homie and his girl, and they all like, like, she does not like Grateful Dead music, but she was like, I know you want to go with them, and if it's with Lauren, I'll have a good time, but by the middle, by the middle of the, well, two songs into the second set, she was like, fuck this, how much, <laughs> can we get the fuck out of here, <laughs> and, it, and she's wasn't happy about it, but stuck around for about another hour before we finally left after the encore. And uh, she was a trooper, so I I appreciate her. That's what's And uh, shout out to the whole cannabis community, really, because it's really over the last few months working with the podcast, getting to know everybody in the community. Everybody's here for a positive. 
competitive thing. And there's so many other industries that everything is all grimy and backstabby. So I want to shout out to all the people that are doing it right and doing it to help other people. And last and not least, probably most importantly, I want to shout out Marijuana Evaluations. Rich, I mean, thank you so much for this. You brought us in. You, you know, you you give us credit for being a vehicle, but, you know, we're just out here doing it. Yeah, bro, we're the vehicle. You driving, dog. You driving it. We're, we're here. We're here giving your patients what they want to hear, giving the community what they want to hear. That's yep. what we want to do. Salute. Hey, and I want to give a quick shout out to, uh, first of all, one of our sponsors. Actually, both of them. First being Ziggy. Um, Ziggy is the owner of Ziggy's All Natural Combs, um, which you can find at Jim Smoke Shops. But I got to tell you, uh, Ziggy's cones um, are vegan. They're 100% vegan, and they're a recipe that's like... You won't be able to break it, but I suggest you try them. They're the yep. smoothest. Uh, they have, they don't run. That's guaranteed. And like I said, you can find him at Jim Smoke Shop in Moore. He has a location in Dizar and in Mesa. Yep. They uh, went ahead and gave us two bongs today, so we truly appreciate them. And uh, yeah, make sure you check them out. Jim has like the best fucking prices in town for as far as glass product anything you need they got a cbd bar in there um and jim is like the best dude i know so shout out to both of them man shout out to all the listeners um you guys are for real the truth man shout out to the marijuana community i love every single one of y'all make sure you check out uh the hoops for hopes tournament i'll talk about that next time uh but yeah man it's a 710 cup bro uh, it's getting louder and louder, so we getting the fuck out of here to go we get. We a party. We need a party. This is the uh, Hippie Chronicles. We out this bitch. Peace. Yeah, yeah. Let's party, bro.